Welcome, it's me again, I'm Sila. And uh, yeah, welcome to How to Mesh Volume 2. Well, I'll be exposing two mesh methods this time. So hopefully you can learn something from it. And I guess try not to get meshed. Now before I get into it, I'd just like to point out the fact that how quick Wildcard is in patching like the recent stuff I've been uploading. So if you don't know, like less than a week ago, I uploaded that video about the first mesh exploit, the billboard mesh exploit, wildcard patched that within like two or three days, which is kind of impressive. But then the problem was they didn't fully patch it, so I uploaded another update video on that. And then within like a day, wildcard actually, no actually it was two days, wildcard actually made another patch and now the billboard method is fully unfunctional. So you can't use that method even it was if it was like built before the um, patch. So pretty impressive. Like, I don't know why I'm thanking them for fixing their own game, which I paid like quite a bit of money for, but whatever, we'll let that slide. Thanks for actually patching stuff this fast and preventing like more people from getting wiped on official. Anyways, right, let's get straight into the two mesh methods. Right, so the mesh methods are pretty similar to the old one actually, at least this one. So what you want to do is you want to place two pillars, like how you would do the old one. And then this part is the hardest part. You have to be very, very precise. So this thing has to be like pixel perfect. So what you want to do is you want to use one of these vertical water pipes. And then you want to place it exactly like this. Like I can't really describe it, but it has to be exactly this height, this position, not like a single inch to either side or like upward or like downwards. It has to be exactly that height, right? So after you get that down, just place a ceiling down there, place a uh, diagonal metal water pipe downwards, and then you want to place a uh, water tap like at the end of that. And then after that, as you can see, it has to be very precise. And you want to do is just walk directly under the, um, the outlet, I guess you can say, or the tap, and then just look downwards, jump, and you're under the mesh. Again, another problem with the pipe climbing pick. Like, it's not the structure that has like the problem that needs to be fixed, it's the climbing pick that's the main problem. Again, go below it and then you have a, like a green sign, click, look downwards, jump, you're under the mesh. This method is so much worse than the last one because this method works on complete flat land. It does not require a slope. You see this method over here, it requires like a slope. Like it has to have a slope in order for it to work. So it is limited to like places with the certain slope. This does not. It can literally be anywhere. Anywhere on the map, this method would work. So it's like so much worse than the last one. But yeah, it's this is definitely something that requires fixing. And uh, cut to an example of like an actual cave. I, like I will be showing you guys five caves because, you know, this is pretty much the same as the last time. But I'll be showing you one cave just to like tell you guys about like how this thing works. Right, so as usual, place the two pillars down. And again, this has to be exactly this position, very, very precise. I uh, like recommend going to K mode, or not K mode, like removing your hotbar so you can actually place this better. And then you want to put a ceiling above that, build a diagonal pipe, put a tap, go under it, Simply click, look downward, spacebar, and you go straight through the mesh into freaking oil cave on Valguero. But yeah, it is easy as that. Like, yeah, sure, there's kill barriers, but there are ways to, like, go around the kill barriers. There's so many ways to go around it. The main problem is, like, the fact that they can mesh anywhere. Because Ark is such a big game, there's no way you can completely prevent people from, like, meshing just by having the mesh protection because the mesh protection doesn't even like cover everything so you have to like remove these methods in order for people to not be able to mesh this easily right so here's the second method second method is slightly more complicated so first you need to sync foundations you need to sync them two times so i'm just gonna do it right now sync it one time these are basic pillar foundation syncing just sync it one more time. There you go. And then after that, you want to build this structure, a two by three ish structure. Build two walls here. And then you want to place a staircase here, a metal staircase. 
Then after that, you want to place walls behind the staircase. So you want to place all four walls behind the staircase. Now these have to be very specific in the order they are built. So you have to build the staircase before those walls, or else they won't like, or else you won't be able to build them pretty much. So yeah, so you just have this structure and remember that ceiling on top as well. And then right after that, you just want to go directly to the uh, staircase and then take the lowest green point allowed so you, it will just have like it will just constantly show and then like not show a point sometimes but you will just want to take the lowest green point look downwards and after that as you can see I am like under the mesh already and then what you want to do is just look downwards space bar and then you go straight through the mesh so uh, this method is definitely more complicated than the other one it's nonetheless also very very stupid how you can just <laughs> use this to like go under the mesh you have to sink the foundations or else you will get kicked uh, right back up to the mesh because uh, it won't be low enough if you don't sink foundations but yeah this method again with the old one is like worse than the uh, other method that I showed the Bilbo one because you can do this on flat land this has to be on like sloped land and this can be on complete flat land and because it's foundation it's like even easier to do and it's just it's just very broken it's what I'm trying to put out there but yeah I'm just going to cut to the actual vault cave again and we'll see how that goes right just before I actually show you the actual glitch in like the oil cave I would like to show you guys the um, structure the billboard method like the one I used I, or I showcased in the video before and because I still have a structure here I just want to show you guys that it like doesn't work completely like you can see that this doesn't work this is like on a cave which this is the one I literally show you guys in the video and it doesn't work anymore so yeah as you can see it needs a slope even if it works it requires a slope but this method as you can see right here does not need a slope alright so just let me just go out of the foundation range and uh, yeah as usual foundation and then sink it so you just want to sink it two times and that's once you want to sink it again Again, you can sink it more if you want, but two is like fine for me. Unless if the ground is like uneven, you might have to sink it like more than once, more more than like two times. But like again, walls, staircase, walls, more walls, and then after that, a ceiling at the end. And then what you want to do is just pull a climbing pick, and yeah, that's it. The entire under mesh is yours. So again, want to look for the green sign. As you can see right now, that green sign is not very low, and that will probably cause you to get kicked out of the mesh. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly. If you go here, so you can see you're not under the mesh, you just get like kicked straight back up if you like jump while looking downwards. So you have to find a spot that is really, really close to like the ground. So it has to be like the closest possible. So you can see that one is probably close enough. And just as you can see right there you went straight through the mesh and yeah into Valk cave and uh, yeah so that's pretty much the exploit of like actually using it in a cave again this works for pretty much anywhere there's always stuff to like get rid of like anti-mesh now as to how to counter it I just want to show you guys really quickly something about the tech suit because if you use a tech suit right People can use the texture to like stay under the mesh and like fly towards your base if you have like the entire area spammed off. But let me just show you why this is like hard. So, right, let me just get a texture first, get the element. Right, let me show you guys here. Right, this is the place where people can mesh. So just take note if you actually live in this cave, this is where you want to foundation spam. This cave is like one of the worst, that one of the easiest to like mesh. So you have to foundation spam. But yeah, anyways, after like that, I'm just going to show you guys why tech suit is really hard to do. It's not impossible, mind you, but it's really hard. So if you spam the area and people can't do it here, they have to fly towards your base or use like other method to get to your base. It is a lot harder. So just have a look at this, right? So let's say you, you are like far away from someone's base and you like do the mesh method. So you like use the climbing pick, all that crap. 
right? Yeah, right there. Just go in the mesh, and then if you hover in the mesh instead of falling straight down, there's a very high chance you get teleported straight up. Now, I'm in single player, so there's no mesh protection, right? But you still get teleported up. So in official, not only will you get teleported up, but you also have a much higher chance of actually getting detected and killed by the anti-mesh. So this is why you want to foundation spam, so people can like fall straight into your base. If they have to like hover and like find the spot into your base, so if they can't fall straight into your base, it is much much harder for people to like mesh your base. And there's so many base on Ark that doesn't have like this protection. So why would people mesh your base if there's like bases that's easier to mesh? So if you want to protect yourself, make sure you place foundations above your cave. I cannot stress this enough, but you have to place foundations around your cave if you want to be safe. All around this area, you have to foundation spam. But yeah, that's kind of the way you can protect yourself until the devs actually patch it. And as for like patching, like if any wildcard dev is watching, I feel like the climbing page needs something to like to be done with it like i know it's really hard and it's easier to just patch other things that's why you guys like did it before it's much like quicker but for like the long term i think climbing pick is like the thing that needs to get patched because as you can see all these methods are like climbing pick related but yeah anyways that's enough rant from me and that's like the actual video right there so that's going to be for me and i'll see all legends in the next one peace out